Okay, yeah. yeah, just uh, very welcome to everybody. Um, just start by asking John maybe for your thoughts on the game, please. Yeah, looking forward to the game. Obviously, um, Alan Bennett, Colin Morgan in travel, Alan got a knock on, on Sunday in the Cup game, so um, we left him at home. But we're looking forward to the game. Obviously, it's a difficult tie. Rose put a very good team. But at the same time, um, we know that uh, we need to play for the next goal and, and try and open up the tie, and uh, that's our plan. Questions? John, with the potential for a league game on Sunday, how do you go about what sort of balancing act do you have in terms of picking your team for tomorrow night? Would an eye on Sunday as well? No, not at all. We're, we're totally focused on, on tomorrow's game. Obviously, um, Europe is the highest level of, of any competition, and uh, we're preparing accordingly. So, um, we deal with Sunday after tomorrow night, but um, you know we we've been just totally focused on uh, the performance tomorrow to see if we bring ourselves back into the tie, and um, you know we haven't even discussed Sunday's game and we deal with that afterwards. When you talk about sort of fine margins at this level, you know not taking your chances, but is that essentially the difference between a, a better side as such that, that they will take their chance when they come? And yeah, I think the difference is you know. In the bigger picture, you know, you look at the stadium, um, you know, you look at the investment, you look at the, the wages, the infrastructure, um, all the stuff that we're in VSL. Okay, so, um, but at the same time, in terms of football on the pitch, you know, um, there isn't a million miles with anyone. And uh, we've shown that in Europe over the years, that um, a lot of these games and these teams that, you know, comes down to tight margins. And uh, if you get opportunities, you have to take them. And I suppose, from our own point of view, probably we feel that Rosebrook didn't have to do a lot for the goals they scored against us. And that was disappointing. But at the same time, we did have a lot of possession. Um, we had a number of half chances. We didn't probably create enough. But um, you know, you could arguably say that they scored from two half chances and we didn't. So um, you know, but in the bigger infrastructure of the whole setup in, in European football. The gap between clubs like ourselves and clubs like this from the other stage is massive. But on the pitch, it's not massive, but it's just the difference of, you know, can you do the extra bit to get through the games? And, um, you know, when you're playing games like this and teams like this, you have to take the chances and you have to create the chances and uh, and defend exceptionally well. And um, I suppose that's probably the most disappointing thing for, our, for, for us after the first game. But, you know, that's gone. We've looked at the game here. We know their strengths. We know they're good players. And uh, but at the same time we've come and we've discussed and we've analysed ways that we feel that we can get the first goal and bring ourselves back into the time. That, that that's all you can do. And uh, the one thing about our players and our club is that we've guys who are brilliant players who have great attitude, have done fantastic for this club over the last number of years. And all you do tomorrow night is make sure they give everything they have, which I'm sure they will. And when you talk about the goal off the pitch, how do you convince the players that? It isn't that big on the pitch, or did I see that themselves? Having, especially having played the first game, or yeah, absolutely. You know, players players are realistic. They're intelligent. They can see that you know that the golf isn't. They can see our infrastructure and the way football is in Ireland. Unfortunately, is that we're miles off infrastructure wise in the whole surroundings or whatever. But in terms of um, uh, on the pitch in in Europe over the last number of years, our results have shown that. You know, and you know we've you know we've played teams like Hacking who we've beaten. We were lucky against them. Um, Right, the number of years we gave into extra time. Um, gave Kink a fantastic game. Um, last year we won in Estonia. You know, so we've been mixed bag over the last number of years. And the lads can see that, you know, that you know, the bottom line is that you know you play teams that you know, maybe have more investment and maybe have you know have, have a bigger industry which you have and a proper industry, you know, but at the same time they can see there isn't much of the difference. It's just a question of your know, probably total concentration and you switch off, you get done. And um, that's probably the, the, the main learning, but overall, at the same time, you know, our players are very good players, and you know, it's proven that our teams have proven that over the last number of years because we've lost a number of players who have gone to a higher level, and uh, that's just the way it is. is. Is that the difficult side of it that you come into games like this and the ledger game sort of armed with all the game plans and knowing that you have to take chances but executing it against teams of, of a certain level? Uh, yeah, absolutely, because in your, own, in your own league, you know, you see it yourself, lads, you know, the, the gap. That normally in our own league we, we would dominate the majority of matches and you're not under put under um, same intense pressure plus the fact that uh, you're creating probably a lot more chances and then when you get them 
you probably need those extra split second to, to take your chances when you come to this level when generally the opposition teams probably control the game a bit more even though last week possession wise we probably dominated the game certainly you know in the first 20 21 minutes your roles actually found it difficult to get into our, into our half at times but at the same time you know they were always dangerous on the counter and we didn't do enough in that period of time to create the clear chance that we probably needed so um that's 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 just the way it is but look at it's a fantastic place to be you know european football competing you know with, with clubs like this um but on the day you have to have everything bang on and that means you must defend properly and then um, if you get a chance you must take it and uh, that's that's the big learning but we all knew that before the games before we've, we've learned that over the last uh, number of years and, and and in the last number of years we've got some fantastic results and but at the same time there's games that um, we've got done in by teams who've just been that more, a bit more clinical and that's that's, that's your football i know you'd need a better result than either of them but the fact that Sligo have won here and done talk through here over 90 minutes does that give you some kind of hope that it's you know clubs at this level can achieve results over here well we've done it ourselves you know we've went to hacking you know we went to estonia last year um, you know, we went to Kink and, and gave a phenomenal performance. So we've had phenomenal performances ourselves, and uh, you know, they're they're last year and the year before, and team, teams have changed, and our team has changed a bit. But at the same time, uh, there's a lot of experience within our own group. that's seen the days we've, we've had great results, and seen the days when maybe we missed the opportunity. And that's that's uh, that's part of uh, the learning process, as I say. How much value would you put in taking the lead tomorrow on the night in terms of sowing any sort of seed today in their mind? Well, football is strange, and certainly, um, if you don't score the first goal, if Rosemary scored the first goal, but then you know, obviously it's going to be extremely difficult. But you know, that's the brilliant thing about football that if you could score, it changes the whole mindset because you know, there's a team trying to hang on to what they have, you know, and, and back off. Um, you know, supporters get edgy, changes the whole game, but at the same time, um, you know, it's easier said than done. So, but of course our game plan is to see, can we fight for that first goal and get it and then open up the tie and then anything's possible after that. That's the point, you don't need, to, although you want to score the first goal, it doesn't have to be in the first 20 minutes, like you can keep a tie and you score with 20 minutes to go, then it's... Yeah. At any time, yeah. you, know, it, you know, if you if you believe that, you know, you have to score in the first 15, 20 minutes, not necessarily at all, you know, any time you can score, if it's the first goal tomorrow, give you an opportunity, so whether it's after 20 minutes or... You know, late in the match, we still have, we still, you know, the mindset changes that you know you're a goal from, 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 from bringing the game to extra time, or they and they know that they, that they have to hang on. So it's all about, um, you know, psychology is huge in, in sport, as we all know, and that's why we all love it because it's different to the business, you know, business where it's everything is set in stone. In football, that's why yeah, you get shock results, and that's um, you know we have prepared prepared accordingly, but we know we need to be total concentration, focus and certainly not concede and uh, but at the same time we do believe that we will create some chances and we must take them if we get that. Uh, John, which player on Rosenborg impressed you the most last game? Um, there were a lot of really good players, um, obviously Mike Jensen, mm. top player, um, but um, you know, they've, they've lots of, you know, leaving left back, it's a very good player, mm. two centre backs, you know, rather than, you know, really strong defensively. And in the middle of the park, you know, they've they've two really good players, you know, Trance will come back in tomorrow we believe. And um, you know, Levy obviously got the two goals, you know, he's pace and you know, I suppose everyone knows about that, you know, talented players, so you know, lots of lots of lots of talented players. Mm. How are you gonna stop uh Jonathan Levy tomorrow? Yeah, well you know, um, I suppose to stop we need to defend properly. You know, I think he himself is probably surprised that you know, he got two what we would call easy goals. Mm. You know, the you know the first goal he ended up eight yards out and went through a keeper's leg and he hit it with his right foot. He's normally left his left footed player. And the second one was a good move, he hit it from the edge of the box when he off the post. So I think he was probably surprised that he got two chances, you know, so easily and um, that's the point from our point of view. Stephen, um, John was talking earlier on there about sort of in the League of Ireland you'd be favourites in a lot of games and expected to win a lot of games. Can you just talk a little bit about the shift in mindset from a player's point of view when you come into these big European games and how do you know the sort of the, the flip-flop almost of the roles? Yeah, a lot of it's down to a lot of discipline. 
you know, we have a game plan going into these games and it's up for the 11 on the pitch and the boys come off the bench to stick to that game plan. And um, I said after the game on Thursday that our game plan was keep it tight, take our chances and don't give easy chances. And we did the opposite, we didn't take our chances and gave away two sloppy goals. So, as, I, as John said, you get punished at this level, you know, and we just can't afford to do that anymore. Um, you don't want to finish the game having David, so what could have should have, you know? We, just our last shot at Europe and we have to have to go out fire and obviously the lads will give it a draw, we know that. Stephen, what do you think of your own chances to turn it around tomorrow? Yeah, I think we've got a chance, of course, yeah. Um, thought we've done very well starting the game first 20, 25 minutes, and of course, in the way you go, it changed high over in Cork, you know. Um, but as I said, we gave a, a sloppy goal away, and I think we had Rosenberg on the ropes for the first 25 minutes, and it's going to be the same tomorrow, I think. We all trust ourselves, we're good footballers. I think on the pitch, the level's not massive. Rosenberg, I don't think, are, are ahead of us an awful lot, so. No, we're going to be confident, we're going to gain, we're confident we can score, and, and as I said, we'll give it a right go. Anyone else? No? Okay. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.